Installing Wall Tiles A tiled wall offers many advantages. From installing simple borders to covering half or even the whole wall, maintenance is easy and design possibilities are unlimited. Here, wall tiles are installed in a bathroom. Before you start, make sure the wall is covered with moisture-resistant gypsum board and that the surface is smooth and flat. If you're tiling over a painted wall, lightly sand the surface first. To purchase wall tiles, calculate the surface area to cover and add a percentage to allow for breakages and spares. Add 5% for tiles laid out in straight lines and 10 to 15% for a diagonal layout. Here's the list of tools and materials for this project. Switch off the power to electrical outlets and take out decorative wall plates and other accessories anchored to the wall. Take out the baseboards, then protect all surfaces. With the chalk line, draw reference lines on the wall. Here, tiles are laid in a straight pattern, centered on the wall. Snap a vertical chalk line in the center of the wall and another line for each end of wall section. At the bottom of the wall, snap a horizontal line, perpendicular to the first, to indicate the top edge of the base row of tiles. Make sure that this line is level and square and that the first row of tiles won't be touching the floor. With a notched trowel, Spread the tile adhesive over a small section of wall to one side of the vertical center line. Hold the trowel at a 45 degree angle. Cover an area of three to four linear feet at a time. Then make grooves in the adhesive with the notched side of the trowel. The grooves should all be made in the same direction. Using the reference lines as a guide, install the first tile near the center of the wall, twisting it slightly so it adheres well. Check that the tile is level and adjust as needed. Following the same technique, lay the other tiles starting from the center and working outwards in a pyramid or step-like arrangement. Place tile spacers between each tile to ensure even gaps. Don't push them in too deep. With a level, check that the tiles are flat and even. Leave the spacers in place while the adhesive dries. If necessary, cut the tiles nearest the wall to the correct size. Incorporate any border that you plan to install. Once all the tiles are installed, wipe off the excess adhesive with a damp sponge. Let dry for 24 to 48 hours before applying the grout. Remove the tile spacers. Before applying the grout, dampen the tiles with clean water. Mix the grout according to the manufacturer's instructions. The grout should be evenly colored and the consistency of toothpaste. Pour some of the grout directly onto the tiles and work it into the joints with a rubber float. Apply the grout section by section, covering a surface no bigger than 10 square feet at a time. Keep the float at a 45 degree angle. Don't apply grout to gaps separating the tiles from another type of material. These gaps act as expansion joints and will be sealed later. Since grout dries fairly quickly, wipe off the excess as fast as possible. With the rubber float, remove the excess grout from the tiled surface. Then, clean the surface with a damp sponge, smoothing it diagonally over the tiles. Rinse the sponge often, using as little water as possible so as not to dilute the grout. Remove as much milky residue from the tiles as you can. After 24 hours, when the grout is completely dry, apply grout sealer to the joints. Wait 30 minutes, then apply a second layer. Finally, after about 10 days, caulk the expansion joints with silicone sealer. For more advice on tiling, visit rona.ca.